Today I'm going to show you how to create this viral flying clothes trend using CapCut. So let's get right to it. This effect works best if you're able to film in slow motion. I found using a frame rate of 120 works best to capture slow motion without losing any quality. You're going to film yourself jumping in the same spot multiple times, starting in your default outfit. I put some clear tape on the ground to make sure that I was in the same spot every time. After you've jumped, grab the first piece of clothing that you want to fly in. Hold it up to the camera before putting it on so that you can take a screenshot of the item. I held the clothes a little too far away from the camera, so I just cropped the screenshots afterward to make them bigger. Now film yourself jumping with that piece on, and then repeat. After my dress, I added tights, then sunglasses, then shoes, and finally my purse. I like to then separate the long video into smaller clips of each jump to make it easier. So now we have all our jumping clips and a screenshot of each item. I didn't think the way that I held the shoes up would line up with my feet very well, so instead I just used a screenshot of me actually jumping with the shoes on. Alright, let's start editing. Open up CapCut and select New Project. Then we're going to select all our video clips of the jumps. Or if you kept it as one long video, then just import that. Now find the spot in your first clip where you're mid-jump. You want to cut the clip there, either by splitting it and deleting the unnecessary part, or if you press and hold the end of the clip, then you can crop it that way. You're going to crop every jumping clip like this, so that each one is about 0.2 seconds of only the part where you're in the air. The length doesn't have to be exact, you can play around with it a bit to see what you like, but 0.2 is a good starting point. When you're done, you should have something like this. Now we add in the flying clothes. Go back to the first clip, then hit Add Overlay. From the Photos menu, select the screenshot of your first item and hit Add. Then scroll over to Cutout and select Customized Cutout. Use the brush tool to color in the entire item. If you go outside of it or mess up, you can use the wipe tool as an eraser to clean up the edges. Once you're done, hit the check mark in the lower right. Now we have the cutout of the clothing item. All that's left to do is to make it fly in. Use your fingers to change the size of the item and line it up with where it should end on your body. Then, line up the end of the item clip with the beginning of the video clip of you wearing that item. So I want the dress to disappear right as the video of me in the dress begins. Click this button to set a keyframe. Now let's move back a little bit, and when we move the dress again, CapCut will automatically create a new keyframe to mark that change. Let's make the dress bigger and move it off screen to set the start position. You can see that as we play the video, the dress will come in from the side to my body, and right as it gets there, I'll be wearing the dress. This is the trick to make it look like the clothes are flying in and right onto you. Now we'll repeat this with the other items. Let's walk through one more together. Add overlay, select the tights, cut them out using customized cutout, position them where I want them to end up, Cut the tights clip right where the clip of me wearing them begins. Set the end keyframe for the tights, move them back, and set the beginning keyframe for where I want them to start. Now repeat this process with the rest of your items. For me, it's the sunglasses, shoes, and the purse. When you're all done, you should have something like this. And one final step, let's bring the speed back up to normal for the ending once you land. I'm going to split the last clip where I want it to speed up, then select speed, then normal, and bump it up to about five. Since we filmed the clip in slow motion, this is just to bring it back to regular speed. Now just click the CapCut end screen, hit delete, and then click the arrow in the top right to export. There you go, now your clothes will fly on like magic. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.